Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Brandon Parker again with another tutorial. I'm doing this tutorial this time on FL Studio. I'm taking a break from doing Sony Vegas and Final Cut and moving on to a lot more other programs that I have as you can tell on my uh, desktop on my dock you can see a lot of different programs that I have and I should do tutorials in them and stuff and show you how to use them and stuff. I, Instead of just doing Sony Vegas and Final Cut, cause that's not all I know how to use. I know how to use a lot of different other programs. So uh, I'm going to get right into uh, FL Studio. I'm going to go into my virtual version of Windows, because it's a Windows program. Okay, and then jump right into FL Studio. I have FL Studio 9. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how... Uh, I kind of already showed you a little bit on how to use FL Studio a, a tad bit in my overview video of it. Just uh, kind of what it does a little bit and I'm going to show you a lot more how to create a song. I'm going to show you like how to create like a techno song and when you first open up your projects, like well when you're very first opening it up, it'll open up an example project. But what you're going to do when you first start any new ones from the beginning or whatever, you're going to get this uh, little limiter on your master. Uh, volume or whatever so you're going to click on here to get rid of it because uh, it'll uh, kind of lower the sound of your uh, audio and it kind of messes it up a little bit because you have to play around with them a little bit with all the different uh, settings and you're just going to uh, go to none on that and then you're going to go to here and you're going to go to channels and these are the different ones you put on to your uh, like right in here, different channels, and then uh, right here you mess around with your patterns and everything. You can rename them, like I said before in my first uh, overview tutorial. I'm going to rename this because I'm going to get started on the trance and, or techno, depends what you're trying to do. And I'm going to call this the drums because you start out with you should always start out with your drums first. And here's a snare kick and everything to get you started, just the basic ones that came with FL Studio. But I'm going to use uh, one of the VEX sounds that I've found and downloaded online. And these are uh, not free, but uh, you, you can, like, I'll give these to you for free. I'll just post them on to uh, a shared site or whatever, and I'll try to get these to you. And these are pretty big files, so you're going to have to uh, uh, wait a while. Like, it's going to take a while to get all of these because I think it's like a gig or whatever. Especially, as I think it's like two or three gigabytes for VEC sounds one and two and there's also VEC three sounds but I don't really have VEC three because I don't really need those and I don't really use these that much because I have uh, Nexus which is a really good plugin but uh, and also too I, I use Logic so like I don't really use this program that much like those are loops some of them are, are, are set for you if you have like but I need a Strong kick. I'm gonna look for a stronger kick. Some of these are like trancy kicks. But I don't like some of the. I like the harder, like the club ones. I'll do the like one at this one. Like this one, I like this one. Okay, and I'm going to. Right here, like what these are, is right down in here, and you can kind of see that it's a little, it looks a little different than your uh, FL Studio. If you have a uh, uh, FL Studio for the first time, you don't know how to use it, and you don't know what you could do with it. I kind of customized this. I downloaded a custom skin for it, and I'll put a link in the description for the custom skin. So you could uh, change the look and some of them that I found they give you instructions on how to install and if you really need help in installing it I'll, I'll do a separate tutorial for you in that and what I'm going to do is like right in here is where you can add like a pattern I would go like every other one like I would yeah like or you can have it set it for you like each fourth one like right there then you play that. And, and it'll get you started on a kick. So what you're gonna do is, okay. Then you can change the color. I would change the color. Right click on it, on this, and then you rename. Or you could change the color. I'm gonna change the color. You can have it randomly select for you, or you could just do it yourself. 
I might just have it randomly select for me for this tutorial. But some of them, they might come if you randomly do them, have it do it for you. They might, uh, like, uh, have the same color, might get selected twice, similar color, so you might have to do it yourself. And then I'm going to call this the, like, rename this. Like, I'd say, like, I'm going to call this S Y N T. Or, or I do like a piano sound, piano, just to make it easier. No, I'll get a piano. I'll go to like, I have Nexus, so uh, what I would do is I, because not a lot of people have all the, these sounds that I have in these VST plugins, which are uh, third party plugins that I, I found online, downloaded. So I'm gonna go to FL Keys and I'm just gonna just use the sound that everyone has because it's hard to do it. it like it would be hard to like do do it with uh, all the cool stuff that I have because uh, not everyone has it and then they'll be like well I can't do it because uh, I don't have all the cool sounds that you have so I'm gonna make it easy for you and as much as I can to get you started and you just play around in here and you go right click here to, and you go to the piano row and this is how you add your custom sounds for it and whatever sounds good to you is just how how you do this the piano row it's not it's not that it's like hard to do the piano row the patterns are like you could change the size of the note just drag it left click and drag and then you can change the size of the note you can preview them and like I know with the Nexus like it, it makes it a lot easier because the sounds are a lot better and they and they come in uh, a, a lot smoother and you can play around with the sounds a lot easier and you can add better patterns but uh, I don't want to mess around with the Nexus like I said because not everyone has Nexus and everything and they have because uh, you're a beginner so you don't know, really know what this program is about and you don't know how to use it so Like if you keep a certain pattern, you just mess around with the notes. You can also uh, go here, mess with. Uh, no, this is not the highlighter. This one is. Okay, yeah. Make sure you highlight the notes. This one's the zoom in. This one I really don't know what that one is because I never really used it. And like I said, I'm in Logic now, so I get the programs confused a little bit. So if I make a mistake here, you can kind of correct me, but. Uh, a little bit I'm just trying to show you how to use this and this right here is select them all and just highlight them selects all the notes makes them red and then you could uh, well I forget the the commands to do it manually or to do it automatically but to do it manually you just go to edit copy and it's control C to copy and I think to paste like it tells you all the commands right in here uh, Let's see which ones to paste. Oh, I'll just go to copy. Okay. And then what you do is you, once you have selected and highlighted them, you make sure you go to this one. And then you, oh, then you go to edit. Then you go to paste. Then it'll let you do it. That's what I made a mistake. Supposed to paste it first. Okay. And it'll create a pattern of what you did. You might have to drag this right to there and then let's see how that sounds we're gonna resize this a little bit and I'll try to make this tutorial as short as possible might have to uh, like hold on let's see how this sounds Play around. You can play around with them like this. If you're a lot closer. Change the position of them. Depends on what sounds good to you. You can also change the speed of them and everything. And uh, like, let's see. I'm gonna jump right into here, and I'm going to uh, add my drums. So you can add them down here on your drum uh, pattern. You can add it down here and it won't show the notes or whatever or you can add it up here and it'll show uh, the notes but it's not really noted or whatever so it's on a like right on in here so it doesn't really show really any notes it's just on a on whatever like 
like C5 when you go to piano row, like you go to the piano row. Yeah, send to the piano row, and it'll it'll be on like C5. If you, uh, I just did it through here, but I sent it through to the piano roll, so I kind of messed it up. So I'm going to edit and do, and I'm gonna leave it as that because that's usually what I do for my drums. If I was using FL Studio still, and I go right in here, I go make sure that I. Now I usually add my uh, stuff down in here, and then I change the colors so that you could tell what they are. That's that. That's my piano one, and you're gonna have to play around with this uh, sounds and everything. And this is what it kind of sounds like now. Make sure I move this to the uh, to the song. This is the powder. This is the song, and it's kind of hard to tell that uh, because my FL Studio looks different than yours. I have a custom layout, so that's why. But uh, this would be, the S stands for the song and this one's working with the pattern right in here. You might have to mess around with like uh like I'd add uh like like I know I won't want to use the Nexus but I'll show you what it sounds like if you want Nexus. And I have like pretty much the whole set of Nexus. And I'll try to put a link in the description to get Nexus for free. If if um let's just see if I can find a way to get it for free. Because uh way I got this for free is is I, I did something different. I kinda messed around with the program and everything. That's pretty much what I do with a lot of things that uh, I, I get. I mess around with them and and that's how I get them for free, but not everything I got for free because I don't want to really I don't really want to get a lot of things for free because it's kind of stupid and so I just because it, and then again when you get them for free they don't really work perfectly but that's the only way I'll keep it for free is if it works perfectly and if it does it then I'll buy it so that's the only thing I that's how I do my stuff that I have on my computer let's mess around with this see uh Oh, I add like this type. Let's see, one of these. Or where's the broken saw right there? Okay, then I'll piano roll this. have them overlaying on top let's see like here or well, like on the claps yeah if you have them overlaying on top of each other it, it'll start from the beginning all the time make sure that you uh, get rid of this and let's see I'm gonna have to resize this get rid of that and then what I would do is I would make sure that you don't add them there while you're working just go to the pattern back to the pattern Go back to here, piano roll it. Try to set it to a pattern that you like. So like this pattern. And you just mess around with your patterns and everything. Whatever sounds good to you. Just make sure. Our music is kind of like art. It's whatever, whatever is good to you. Whatever you know how to. Like, just be creative and mess around with the patterns and everything. Okay. 
okay, and that might sound good. Add it into the pattern, okay. And you might not might want to rename the clap if you don't want claps. Go back in here. Okay, rename this. We'll call this Nexus Sound. Is it so I know what it is? Nexus Sound, because I don't I don't really might ch I might change it on. Gotta always remember to press OK when I change the Nexus sound. Okay, and that's it. Let's play. Okay, this. You might want to mess around with the piano. I'm gonna change it. Mess around with it. Replace with Nexus. I think Nexus sounds a lot better. Let's see to this one of these piano. This piano. Or like let's see what it is. We'll go to split and sequence, so I'll go to one of these. Just gonna have to mess around with the piano roll. It's gonna take some time uh, to do a song because uh, it depends on what sounds good to you. And like some of them might be off or whatever. Some of the sounds you go to here, you go to read. It. Well, I go to change this. Okay, piano roll. Change. You're gonna have to change the first thing. I gotta be in this pattern first. Right here. Here, yeah, roll this. Okay, mess around here. Delete some of these. Change it around a bit. mess around with this because I had cut it off because I made it a bit shorter I also mess around with the different sounds Just play around with the different sounds and I'll try to get Nexus to you because Nexus makes uh, doing songs a lot easier than what you what came with uh, FL Studio because uh, FL Studio, uh, the sounds, some of the basic ones, they're really hard to uh, enjoy and it's hard to like, like get a really good uh, song out of them. I know like the ones that came with uh, FL Studio, like once you first open up, like so, but uh, let's see, let's go to Oh, cool stuff! It's right there. Okay, ah, go back to it. I have to make sure that I clicked on it. Where did it go with the cool stuff? There it is. Okay, right here, and this is it. Okay, and uh, open one of these and go to no save changes. And this is what like you can like hear some of the ones that came with FL Studio, and they 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 use the sounds that came with it, but uh, it's got uh, like how do they get it to sound really good? I think they modified it a lot. You can modify the sounds a little bit, I guess. To get some of them to play really nice.
and, and they also show you how they how they actually get their song if you uh, once you open up the project and what I just clicked out of there was the information of the song but uh, there's kind of like what it looks like of what one person did who that came with the program it comes with the FO studio they mess around with the different uh, like stuff in here and they created their own pattern and whatever and yeah some of the ones that came with uh, FO studio are pretty nice but uh, I, I rather have found different ones because like Nexus it's a lot easier to work with because the sounds sound beautiful and they don't sound like off or weird or a little bit and you can get a good uh, you can create songs easier because they sound a lot better that's pretty much um, it in this tutorial and like here this is like the mastering mess around with this mess around with the sounding a little bit and I'll go more into that in detail a little bit my next tutorial on FL studio this is just a step up uh, more information from my first tutorial and that's it comment rate subscribe and see you in my next tutorial